Morning guys, another hopefully fairly quickie. Uh, the Mark II ball turner, horizontal. I think I've got close to the better tool now. This may be shaking, I've got a fan running, it's darn hot. Piece of uh, quarter drill rod, in fact it's the end of a drill itself because I'm <laughs> out of all my drill rod I can't find a piece of quarter. So I've ordered a short length, but anyway, that's a piece of drill. The ground off, that's exaggerated. Uh, this incidentally is thanks to somebody who commented, Robin. And he very kindly sent me a short video and some drawings, or sorry, pictures of his tooling. Ever so simple. And this is what I'm trying. So just ground off about 15 degrees and then it goes into a tool holder in the boring head which is pitched downwards so the actual back relief is uh, is fairly small a bit less than that in effect and that's just an attempt very rough sketch of a sort of oblique view real simple grind could be simpler than that just get the angle close in fact the grind I've done is uh, is really down and dirty it's not even finished but it's close and it's enough to test. Now for test purposes I'm just uh, doing the front end of a piece of inch, a piece I've used before actually. I've taken one or two cuts, it's pretty good, there's a little bit of tool squeak but I wouldn't say it was serious chatter. Uh, it's actually not bad so far and a, a slow feed is probably advisable. Oh, incidentally, I'm also using the uh, cross slide advance as against adjusting the head itself, which I should try later. And I reckon if I can get a halfway decent cut on the cross slide advance method, that the fixed cross slide and adjustment on the boring head will probably be better. I got some chatter there. I did get a bit of chatter at one point, I forget whether I was feeding too little or not, but overall, feeling with my nail, I don't know if I can get in close enough to see, hang on a minute. So this is just an old uh, test piece, as I think I may have said, but and I've put some paper behind to try and get the focus right. So what we've got is a pretty reasonable result. I can see a little bit of tooling marking and again the old nail check. It's pretty good. It wouldn't take much to finish that off. Um, I've got to try it on a complete ball obviously at some point. And as far as the tooling goes, do a better grind, fresh grind. And there is just a little bit of, it's a fraction of movement in the boring head between the tool holder and the main head on the dovetail. So uh, there's room for improvement there, but I, it's got promise. That's the main thing. And I'm quite pleased. I think with development on that, we'll have basically cracked it sufficiently for me anyway. And uh, again, when I try the boring head adjustment, instead of cross slide, we may get a slightly better result too. So I'll show you the tool close up so you can uh, get a look at it. It's not perfect, but 
the main cutting edge is uh, what I was after. All right, here's the tool. Now bear in mind, let's make sure I try and get this to focus. Bear in mind this was a real quick grind. I started and got a rather too much relief and then I ground again, which is that area. And the cutting zone is, is round there, so this bit at the back doesn't matter. So that's what we've got. And the relief on it, I'll see if I can show that. It's probably still a bit excessive actually. Alright, that's almost a side view. Difficult to get the right angle. So from the tool holder to the tool itself, and ignoring that bit on the right of the tool end, which is, say that was an earlier grind which doesn't feature. The working grind is the top and left obviously. So the relief to the work is actually fairly modest. Um, so I'm going to experiment with the same grind in different versions, but in essence, thanks to uh, Robin, uh, this is the best yet. And it looks as though I can probably get away with a cross slide advance, but I will try the boring head adjustment bit by bit, and that may well prove even better. So the next thing is to turn a darn ball. The vertical version, I'll probably abandon that, it was just a bit of fun. And uh, no way I can get it really firm enough to be honest. As many people pointed out, it was a bit of a, a bit of a hiding to nothing, but I just had to try it. Anyway, this one I think has a lot of promise. I'll turn up a blank and fit it to a stub and uh, try and do a complete ball. So hopefully we'll do a video on that soon. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Bye for now.